guys, it's Serena. Here is part two of chapter five for my Dramani love story. I hope you enjoy. And like I said in my pre previous videos, if you like what my content, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. And when you do, press the notification bell so you never miss a video. Okay, I'll stop chatting again. <laughs> Here's part two. I was in the family library reading about different magical creatures when mother came up behind me. Hi, sweetheart. What are you reading? Just mythical animals and all, I responded, closing the book. I looked down at the closed book, just wondering what to say next. Uh, um, Hannah, what's wrong? Mom asked. It's just, if you loved us, why did you give us away? Why did you send us away? I cried. We didn't give you up, Hannah. You and your sister were taken from us, Mom said. Why? Well, when you and your siblings were born, there was another pure blood family. They wanted you and your sister to marry their son when the time was right, but your father said no. I guess the family couldn't take no for an answer because they kidnapped you and your sister. Your father went to their home and murdered everyone. And because of that, your father was sent to Azkaban. And you and your sister were taken from us. Mom said, Did you try to find us? I asked. Of course we did, Hannah. No parent should be separated from their children. Without thinking, I pulled my mom in and gave her a hug. I could tell she was surprised, but took it anyway. Mother, I was wondering, I heard Lace say before he stopped. Lace, what did you need? Mother said, letting me go. I was wondering if you'd seen Hannah, but I think I know the answer. Well, what do you want, Lace? Well, would you like to play magical chess? Or, I mean, wizard's chess with me? Sure. It sounds like fun. I'd love to. I got up and followed Blaze to the living room. Next to the fireplace was a small table with a chess board on it. Blaze took the chair closer to the fireplace while I took the one across him. After about two games, it was a tie. We were going to do a third game, but I was bored. Can we stop? I'm getting bored. I asked. Okay. Good game, sis, Blaze replied. <sighs> nice try, Blaze. I know you let me win the second game because you felt bad for winning the first, I retorted. Just then, Hermione came in with Draco and they were sick to the skin. Hey, sis, uh, what happened? It's not raining. I said, well, everything was fine until we got to a bridge. While we were walking across it, I chipped on something and fell over. Draco tried to help me, but he fell in too, as you can see, Hermione said. Well, both of you better get changed before Mother calls us for dinner, Lily said. Hermione and Draco quickly ran to their rooms to get changed. When they came back down, it was dinner. We ate our dinner in silence, and then we went to bed. The next day, Draco and Hermione stayed at home. We played games, practiced magic, and it was really great, and I was very happy. After dinner, Hermione and I were reading on the couch. Mother was taking a shower, and I wasn't sure what the boys were doing. Hannah, are you okay? Are, are you happy? Hermione asked. Yes. Very happy. I'm glad. Now we should get ready. We go back to school tomorrow. We put our books down and headed upstairs to our rooms and we started packing. After that, we went to bed. The next morning, we grabbed all our stuff, changed into our robes, and headed outside. The car was there to take us to the train station so we could get to school. When we finally got to the train station, all four of us headed inside the train. We found a room that had a lot of... 
had a lot of seats. After we sat down, Pansy came to the room. Why are these mudbloods here? She asked. They're not mudbloods. They're purebloods. How do you know that, Draco? Because they're my sisters, Pansy. Hermione, oh, Hannah, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's not like we're not used to it. That will end chapter five. Again, like I said in the last video, comment down below which song I should sing between Roar and No Friends. Okay, that's all for now. Bye, everyone.